This animation will show the basic technique for a minimally invasive thyroid lobectomy. The best incision is placed over the isthmus of the thyroid, but the trump card is that it should be placed in a natural skin line, which is usually slightly above the isthmus. Once we've made our skin incision, we divide the platysma, and then we'll divide the strap muscles in the midline to expose the isthmus of the thyroid. Here you can see the isthmus, the pyramidal lobe, which is only present in about 30% of patients, and the location of the delphian lymph node, or the pre-laryngeal lymph node. Our first step is to divide uh, some of these attachments superior to the isthmus. At this point, we'll oftentimes divide the inferior thyroid veins, or the ema veins, and then we'll divide the tissue inferior to the isthmus. Next, we'll transect the isthmus flush with the uh, contralateral lobe. If you're doing a total thyroidectomy, you can divide it in the midline. Next, we'll divide the tissue between the trachea and the thyroid, taking care not to go too posteriorly and certainly not past the middle of the trachea. Next, we'll rotate the strap muscles laterally and pull the thyroid anteriorly. Uh, and this will help us to expose the clear portion beneath the superior pole of the thyroid and expose the lateral portion of the superior thyroid vessels. Next, we'll turn our attention to the space of Reeves and divide the tissue between the thyroid and the cricothyroid muscle to open the space of Reeves. Next, we'll divide the superior pole vessels. We'll rotate the thyroid anteriorly and medially. This will help us identify the middle thyroid vein. We'll divide this. Uh, and then next we'll identify the tubercle of the thyroid and the inferior thyroid arteries which typically enter the thyroid at the tubercle. From here we identify the inferior and superior parathyroid glands, we'll identify the recurrent nerve, and then we'll divide the inferior thyroid arteries. At this point, after pushing the nerve posteriorly, we'll divide the remaining attachments of the thyroid to the trachea and remove the thyroid intact. After attaining hemostasis, we'll reoppose the strap muscles in the midline leaving a blow hole uh, inferiorly, so that way any bleeding can come into the subplatysmal plane. And then we'll reapproximate the platysma and close the skin with a running subcuticular to be removed later.